it was a grind all day. Both me and Drew kind of struggled off the tee all day. Went right to 18 pretty much. And yeah, the birdie I made on 13, that was where I kind of felt comfortable. I hit a good second shot to like a foot, it lipped out. And unfortunate for him, he doubled. So then I had a three shot lead there and then it was more like, it was better after that. You referenced that birdie and you were also able to birdie the 10th hole. So you take a look maybe at that back nine. I don't want to say, did you flip the switch, but were you able to build some confidence there uh, over those final nine holes of play? I did and I didn't. A couple, just so tight out there. Every hole is, you just have to hit the fairway. Like it's only like 30 yards, 40 yards wide. And if you don't hit the fairway, it's bush. And I, a couple holes I doubled, I hit three off the tee. Yeah, it was just a grind all day, but finally got it done. I know we talked yesterday, you didn't use your driver a lot. You were able to use some irons off the tee. Did you go with that same mindset here today and, and do you feel it helped to your success? I did the exact same as yesterday, only par fives, drivers, and I hit driver on two today because it was into the wind. But yeah, it's just you just got to find the fairways out here. How does it feel to win a men's mid-amateur championship after being successful on the junior circuit a few years ago? Yeah, it feels good. I've been, last couple of years, I've been right there. Last year, I finished third, then second in the AM, so it finally feels good to get one under the belt.